Bowser gives me this <laughs> good luck. Right. And I thought, oh, now what? And I mean, I pulled away from the curb, and as soon as I do, she starts, oh, God, the worst day of my life, honey. <laughs> tells you like your trip's 10 more minutes yeah it's like 20 minutes to where i'm going oh man like you know crap i'm gonna put up with that for the next 20 minutes at one o'clock in the morning yeah well happily she passes out because you know she was three sheets of the wind already when she got in the car uh -huh. but she's i don't know in her early to mid 20s wearing a tube top and a skirt that barely covered her rear end Oh man. But she's slumped over drunk, so I'm like, well, whatever. And my navigation takes me up to this gate. Mm -hmm. A gated community, you know, so and I have to have a code to get in. Right. And she was she was knocked out. And she's out. <laughs> I'm like, uh, ma'am, I need the gate code. Uh, no no no, I really need the gate code to get in. <laughs> So she comes up with a number, that ain't it. And I try again, and she's like, down. Man. So then I'm thinking, well, uh, I mean, there's no place to dump her there on the curb. Right. <laughs> Happily, about the time I get 911 on the phone, because that's kind of what they instruct you. Oh, you, oh, you called 911? Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, you know, what am I going to do? Get in, yeah. What can you do? And uh, happily about that time, well, somebody else pulls in behind me. Right. And I tell this person and the 911 operator what's going on. Well, the guy gives me the gate code. Mm -hmm. So I went and opened the gate, got back in the car. It, the navigation takes me down to the end of a cul-de-sac, but it doesn't have an address. Wow. And so there's like four houses at the end of this cul-de-sac. I'm thinking, well, uh, maybe she knows which one it is. Right. <laughs> but I try to wake her up, and she's falling out of her tube top. Wait, so she took you to a dead end? Yeah, I mean, it's a dead end cul-de-sac down there. Right. <clears throat> she's falling out of her tube top. Mm -hmm. Didn't have any underwear on. Oh, wow. Uh, and I'm like, ma'am, you, you need to go in here. Yeah. And she finally looks around and picks up her shoes and puts herself back in her tube top. Yeah. But I was, I, I didn't really know how to handle that situation. Man. I mean, hell, I'm old enough to be her grandfather, so I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> take right. advantage of her out there in the boonies at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, the walk of shame. But you know, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> I, I bet, wow. <laughs> Did she like? Did she look good? Was she attractive? Well, yeah, she was attractive. I mean, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. You know that was yeah. that was a kind of a weird experience. Man, uh, I can imagine. Had another drunk in my car one night. That he wanted to talk in tongues to me. Oh boy. And I was like, you know what? Uh, that's okay. You don't need to do that. Yeah. Because I'm starting to go, hmm, where can I drop this Yahoo, you know? Mm -hmm. But he finally shut up, so I got him home. And then, of course, the, the group that I got in the back seat again after midnight. Right. And the, the girl sitting next to this window, I think I'm going to be sick. She rolls down the window and sure enough throws up all over the side of my car. At least it wasn't him. Oh, in the car. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You got lucky. But, you know, hell, at that point, it's like, we're in a car wash, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to pick anybody else up and vomit all over the side of your car. Yeah. And I picked up a guy out in Lake Palestine one night. What was that like? On the other side of Tyler down there. Mm -hmm. And this thing doesn't tell you your destination until you have the person in the car. Right. It'll tell you, you know, it's a 15 minute trip. Yeah. 
Well, this one said extended trip, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. I get in the car with him. I said, so where are we going? He, Katie. <laughs> like, you mean Katy, Texas? <laughs> yeah, that's where I live. Because he had a black trash bag with him, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I look down, and sure enough, it's 327 miles and five and a half hours to get there. Wow. <laughs> well, all right, let's see. Uh, my, my daughter lives in Conroe. Maybe I'll just camp out with her and her family, you know. So could you, like, could you have declined? Do what? Like, could you have declined it? Like, I, I, Well, I have the option of doing whatever I want. Yeah. I'm, I'm an independent contractor. So I could have theoretically driven him to back into Tyler and dropped him off, or because I, I get paid for miles and minutes. Right. That, that's what this really is about. Okay. But uh, I thought, well, you know what the heck. So we get about an hour down the road, and the whole time he's saying nothing. He's on his phone. He's texting. Mm -hmm. So I get almost to Palestine, and he says. Take me back. Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah, take me back where we started. I'm like, really? Goes, yeah, I made a mistake. <laughs> okay. So I had a two hour trip that started and stopped in the same place. <laughs> wow. What, so like, was you okay with that? Sure. I don't care. Right. It was actually better for me. I didn't have to, I didn't have to go all the way to Katie. Yeah. Call my daughter and tell her, hey, I need to need to flop at your house tonight. Right. So you know, there's there's some unusual things that happen, but during daylight hours it's normally pretty easy and pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. You don't you don't have any problems. I tell you a couple of them having the fight in my back seat. Like, we ain't doing that. Wow. <laughs> Was that like during the day? Yeah, it's middle of the afternoon. Oh man. I picked him up at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> right where I picked you up. Ironic. Man, that's crazy. Because really the deal is, this is my car. Mm -hmm. My gasoline. My oh, extra insurance that I have to buy to do this. Right. My time. Yeah. If I'm not comfortable with what I'm doing here, it's just like, okay, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Now, that's pretty cool, though, man. That's pretty cool. Well, like I say, it works for me. It's, uh, you don't get rich doing it. I mean, in this market, it's about 15 bucks an hour, probably. Sometimes a little better than that, but right. that's about all you can really expect. Yeah. Because unfortunately, they don't come one right after the, uh, the next, right. most of the time. Not here. Go to Dallas? Yeah, it's a little more busy down there. Well, I mean, in all of East Texas, there's only about 250,000 people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're scattered over 20,000 square miles. <laughs> Dallas, you know, there's 250,000 people in one little section of Dallas County. Yeah. So, like, do you travel and do this? Do I travel? Yeah, like... Well, one second. I, I have the choice to take a trip anywhere that this thing will take me. And you would, like, and you would, like, Uber, like, somewhere else, too? The issue is I can't get another ride outside of Texas. Right. I could take you to Anchorage, Alaska, theoretically, because the road goes there. Mm -hmm. But uh, once I get out of Texas, I'm kind of stuck. Right. I've taken people to the airport in Shreveport, but then I've got a 40-mile drive back to the border yeah. before I can get another opportunity. A friend of mine picked up guys at Love Fields in Dallas, took them all the way to Birmingham, Alabama. Hmm. 
How long of a of a drive is that? Well, it's about 800 miles, so. <laughs> <laughs> it took quite a while. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow. But he also did it creatively. Why do you say that? Well, what he told him was, "I'll I'll do the job, but uh, you know, once I get out of Texas, I don't I'm not going to be able to get another gig. So, let me end the trip up here at the next intersection, and I'll turn off Uber, and uh, you just you just pay me what you would have paid them. Right. Hmm. Because we make about sixty five percent of whatever you paid. Hmm. So it was more profitable for him to do it." Off the clock, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, yeah. Off the map. And they were okay with that. He had one of those little square reader deals, you know? Mm hmm Get the credit card. And they gave him a nice tip, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why didn't you take an airplane to Birmingham? Well, we missed our flight. We've got to be back tomorrow. Oh, man. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Sort of. Man, I can't imagine being in a car that long. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Take care of yourself. All right, thank you, sir. You have a good day. You too.